Tonight, Friday's hottest show is back on the air. With a whole new roster and environment comes new opportunities. Tonight, we will begin down the road to crown a brand new World Heavyweight Champion. Dolph Ziggler, Seth Rollins, Bobby Lashley, Drew McIntyre, Robert Roode, Mustafa Ali, Finn Balor, and John Cena. Over the next two weeks, these eight men can test to qualify for a four-way elimination battle, which will determine the new World Heavyweight Champion on December the 9th at a special SmackDown All-Star Kickoff. Who will qualify for a chance to hold the gold? The road to glory begins now. Friday Night Smackdown is back on the air. We are live from the AT&T Center in San Antonio, Texas for an historic night of action where we will kick off the World Championship Series. All roads lead to two weeks time at the All-Star Kickoff for Friday Night Smackdown. And as we mentioned, the World Championship Series kicks off tonight, and it'll all conclude on Universe Mode, Episode 67, at the All-Star Kickoff, a fatal four-way elimination matchup to crown the holder of the big gold belt. Two of those matches going down right here tonight in San Antonio. First up in moments, the show-off Dolph Ziggler, the visionary, the revolutionary, Seth freaking Rollins, one-on-one -on -one to kick us off. Plus, later tonight in your main event, it's the almighty Bobby Lashley versus the Scottish psychopath, Drew McIntyre. Two former rivals going at it once again tonight, a part of the championship series all tonight on SmackDown. And we are set to kick things off with the first qualifier matchup. The winner of this matchup moves on to two weeks time at the SmackDown All-Star Kickoff Extravaganza where we will crown the new World Heavyweight Champion. And here comes a former multiple time WWE Champion, the Visionary, the Revolutionary, looking to start a whole new fresh start here on Friday Night SmackDown. Seth freaking Rollins is in the heart of San Antonio. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa. Weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins! Well, Seth Rollins has really had a rough year in the WWE. He spent the majority of the summer taking loss after loss to another man who is officially a part of the SmackDown roster who we will see next week in the World Championship Eliminator Series, that being Mustafa Ali. And Seth Rollins, of course, suffering some losses to Rob Van Dam and Jeff Hardy as well. And it all culminated with Rollins once again kicking his disciple, Buddy Murphy, to the curb a couple of weeks ago. Murphy also drafted to Friday Night SmackDown, a part of the draft this past Monday night on Raw. I'm sure Murphy's got his eyes on Seth Rollins. A lot of unfinished business there, but for Rollins tonight, it's about focusing on a new chapter in his career and possibly holding the World Heavyweight Championship for the very first time. But here comes a man who has held the big gold belt before the show off. Looking to bounce back from Survivor Series here tonight. And his opponent from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. It was back in 2013 that Dolph Ziggler cashed in the Money in the Bank briefcase to become the World Heavyweight Champion. Unfortunately, due to a concussion, that World Heavyweight Championship reign didn't really pan out the way Dolph Ziggler may have wanted it to. Nearly nine years later, the show off, after everything he's been through throughout his illustrious WWE career, has an opportunity to hold that very championship once again, a part of the blue brand. A win here tonight catapults the winner to the All-Star kickoff in two weeks time. Universe Mode Episode 67, where we will crown a new World Heavyweight Champion. And of course, this is a qualifier matchup. What a way to kick us off on Friday night. SmackDown, the return of SmackDown. We're back on the air tonight from the AT&T AT Center in San Antonio, Texas. And we are underway with our opening bout. And again, still to come tonight, in another World Championship qualifier, Bobby Lashley, Drew McIntyre, two old rivals, going to lock horns once again inside the middle of the ring. 
Ziggler headed to the top rope. Beautiful missile. Drop kick takes Rollins off his feet. This is the first time we're seeing Dolphin action since last Thursday's Survivor Series pay-per-view where the show-off took on the Intercontinental Champion Tommaso Ciampa. Unfortunately, Dolph coming up short on that victory, or excuse me, on that night. We're going to bounce back with a victory here tonight and get some momentum back on the show-off side. And Dolph's really been, for the most part, in the winning ways since making his return to the main roster. He spent a lot of the year down in NXT, became the NXT Champion. We saw him come back to Monday Night Raw after SummerSlam. It was really on a picking up some victories one after one. It was really Tommaso Ciampa who derailed some of the momentum for Dolph Ziggler, handing him not one but two losses for the last couple of months. So Dolph here tonight with a huge opportunity against Seth Rollins and Ziggler. Look at that beautiful Olympic slam into the cover. Is Dolph moving on to the all-star kickoff? Not just yet. Seth Rollins, he may have been having a rough year here in the WWE, but it's going to take a lot more to keep this former multiple-time WWE champion down. As we mentioned, Seth Rollins spent the majority of the summer on the losing end of a rivalry against Mustafa Ali. We will see an action next week here on SmackDown. Rollins then shifted sights to Rob Van Dam, who made his return to the WWE. Came up short against RVD back at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view in August. And then back in September, Seth Rollins and his then-disciple Murphy coming up short at Judgment Day in a no-disqualifications tag team matchup against Jeff Hardy and Rob Van Dam. Rollins kicking Murphy to the curb a couple of weeks ago. Murphy costed Rollins a victory against AJ Styles a few weeks before the Survivor Series pay-per-view. So Rollins back in action tonight. Murphy is here on SmackDown, not in the building tonight. But I'm sure Murphy's got his eyes on retribution against Seth Rollins. But I'm sure Seth Rollins, on the other hand, just wants to move past Murphy. He brought him back to the WWE just to kick him to the curb once again. Rollins doing everything he can to just try to get back in the winning ways. And it could be a fresh start for the Messiah here on SmackDown. We're trying to get Dolph Ziggler counted out there. Just trying to get some momentum back in this contest. Rollins whipping Dolph off and sends him over the top rope again. Dolph is dazed. The visionaries' wheels are spinning right now. And get a load of Seth. Suicide dive to the outside, taking Dolph off his feet. And the crowd here in San Antonio, not a big fan of Seth Rollins and his antics. Seem to be behind the show off here tonight, but Rollins trying to make sure that it's going to be him moving on to the All-Star kickoff and not Dolph Ziggler. Episode 67 of Universe Mode, we're going to be live on a live premiere special for SmackDown. Las Vegas, Nevada, going to be a huge night. We're going to crown a new World Heavyweight Champion, a four-man elimination matchup for the gold. There's four men going to qualify tonight and next week here on SmackDown as Rollins has got Ziggler on top here. Superplex! Not done yet. And a falcon arrow by the visionary. Into the cover. Will that be enough to keep Dolph Ziggler away here? And Ziggler gets the shoulder up. The crowd showing their appreciation for these two men and what they are accomplishing inside of the ring right now. And you know, we mentioned Dolph Ziggler was just in action last Thursday at Survivor Series against Tommaso Ciampa. You gotta be wondering what Ziggler's condition is coming into this matchup after that physical contest against the Intercontinental Champion. Ziggler went for the super kick. Rollins caught it. Ziggler countered. Nice, simple, but effective takedown by Dolph Ziggler. Gonna leave all the marbles in the ring tonight for a chance to move on to compete for the World Heavyweight Championship in two weeks' time. Ziggler's got Rollins down. The show-off's heading to the top rope. He hit that missile drop kick earlier, did a number on Rollins. Ziggler gonna look for a crossbody this time. The strength in Seth Rollins able to catch him here. Oh no, and send it to Ziggler over the top rope down to the floor. Rollins goes for a dive, miscalculates it there. And now we got two men laying down and out on the outside of the ring. Physical contest here to kick off your return of Friday Night Smackdown. Rollins charging at Dolph in a nice swing blade. Takes Dolph off his feet. Still to come tonight, as we mentioned, the Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre one-on-one with the almighty Bobby Lashley. Winner's going to move on. Hey, Ziggler going low. I don't know if the referee had the right vantage point there. But nonetheless, Ziggler getting the momentum back any means necessary, I guess, to win the world championship. Well, I guess we'll run it off as some retribution for Murphy. Rollins is down. Ziggler has taken back the momentum in this contest. X Factor there. Rollins eats the canvas. Into the cover goes Dolph. Has he punched his ticket to the kickoff? Rollins gets the shoulder up. 
Dolph's got to wash his back. Seth Rollins rolls him up here. Into the cover, Ziggler with the push off. Back and forth we go. And this world championship qualifier. Ziggler shoves Rollins off. Rollins in the corner. Rollins with the counter. Rollins with the shot on the show off. Charges at him with the forearm and Dolph goes down. Oh no, Ziggler in prime position. Seth Rollins headed to the top rope. Picture perfect frog splash, but Dolph Ziggler met him with the knees to the gut. Another momentum shift in this matchup is Dolph Ziggler back in control. Rollins had that frog splash perfectly scouted there, but Dolph Ziggler knew it was coming. Now the swinging neckbreaker takes Rollins off his feet. Now Dolph's got something in mind. Heading to the top rope once again in this contest. Hits a splash of his own. And immediately into the cover goes Dolph. But Rollins gets the shoulder up again. Who's going to outlast the other in this world championship qualifier tonight? Rollins back up. Back and forth we go. Goes behind. Rip Courtney may have just knocked the lights out of Dolph for good. Dolph looking dazed, Rollins. Wheels are spinning here, sending Dolph back into the corner. Another shot, simple but effective maneuver by the visionary Seth freaking Rollins, former multiple time WWE champion. We're gonna get the World Heavyweight Championship, the big gold belt has been held by so many greats, so many Hall of Famers, Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan, John Cena, who's a part of this tournament as well. Dolph Ziggler is in the ring with. The icon Sting, the Undertaker, Edge. Been held by so many greats. Seth Rollins wants to add his name to that list. Rollins with the kick. This may be all she wrote. If Rollins hits this, turn, stop to Dolph Ziggler. And you may as well punch Seth Rollins' ticket to the All-Star kickoff. Dolph Ziggler barely, at the last second, able to grab the shoulder off the canvas. And I do not think Seth Rollins saw that coming, throwing his best shot at Dolph. Curb stomp, Dolph able to get the shoulder off the canvas. Reaching down deep, the intestinal fortitude of the show off. He tasted defeat at Survivor Series last week, doesn't want to have that again. And Rollins throwing Dolph into the barricade down the outside of the ring. Rollins gonna have to think up new strategy to try to throw the show off off his game here. What a way to kick off Friday Night SmackDown World Championship qualifier matchup. Of course, we're talking a lot about Survivor Series that was just last week. Wait a minute, Rollins clearing off the announce table here, but he better keep his eye on Dolph Ziggler. Any means necessary for Seth Rollins to try to get back in control of this matchup, but Dolph's got something else in mind. Not on the outside of the ring. Could be looking for a power bomb. Wait a minute. Oh, right on the hardest part of the ring. It swings him around. And that is going to be a big time factor in the late rounds of this contest. Dolph has completely taken over this matchup now. Referees at a count of eight. These guys got to get back in the ring before we get ourselves a count out here. Ziggler could be about to win this on a count out. Count of nine. Rollins has got to get back in and he does at the last second. Seth Rollins almost counted out. Dolph would have been on his way to the All-Star kickoff in two weeks. As we were about to mention Survivor Series just last Thursday, what a night it was from Boston. Of course, featured the WWE Championship for Monday Night Raw on the line. Edge and Randy Orton inside hell in a cell. You go check out the replay right now here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. As well as this past Monday Night's Raw where we witnessed the WWE draft and we've seen this incredible SmackDown roster come to shape as Seth Rollins takes Dolph Ziggler down with the neck breaker. You gotta think, any moment now, somebody's gonna get that... Just the right shot in, just the last blow to put the final nail in this matchup. Rollins already hit Dolph with a curb stomp. It wasn't enough. What the hell is he going to have to do to keep Dolph Ziggler down? Dolph is dazed. Rollins has got his eyes locked on him again. He could be looking for curb stomp number two, and he hits it flush. It's one thing to kick out once, but I don't know about a second time. Seth Rollins is on his way to the all-star kickoff. Dolph Ziggler putting up one hell of a fight here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown, but there you have it. The visionary, the revolutionary, Seth freaking Rollins punching his ticket. Oh, wait a minute here. The match is over, Seth. 
The match is over, and Seth Rollins sending a message to the locker room, beaten down on Dolph Ziggler after the bell. Unnecessary attack, but well, there you see it. Seth Rollins, Dolph Ziggler. As Dolph Ziggler fades to black, Seth Rollins is on his way to the All-Star kickoff. We're back inside the AT&T Center here in San Antonio, Texas, and we are set for a little tag team grudge match. A-Kid, who is assigned to SmackDown a part of the Cruiserweight division officially here tonight, set to team up with, I guess, his new mentor, the Prince, Finn Balor. Finn Balor really taking A-Kid under his wing after a match the two had a number of months ago on main event. Finn Balor, of course, drafted the Friday Night SmackDown. The partnership lives on for now, and the Prince, Finn Balor, May have came up short at Survivor Series, but ahead of his matchup with John Cena next week, he's set for a tag team bout tonight. And his partner from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! It was last Thursday night at Survivor Series that Finn Balor was a part of Team Sheamus. Sheamus Balor and Apollo Crews went up against Drew McIntyre, Pete Dunne, and Shinsuke Nakamura. And unfortunately for Finn and the rest of the team, a clean sweep by Team Drew McIntyre and company. But Balor really taking issue with Shinsuke Nakamura the last number of weeks. You remember about two weeks ago on Monday Night Raw, Nakamura was in the midst of a matchup with all day Austin Theory. When Finn Balor reared his head, took Nakamura's eye off the ball, really allowed Theory to capitalize and leave with the victory on that night. Just two days later, 24 hours before Survivor Series, Finn Balor went one-on-one -on -one with Shinsuke Nakamura on the final episode of Main Event, and Finn walked away with the victory. Nakamura, of course, got a little bit of revenge, a part of Team Drew McIntyre at Survivor Series, but tonight, Balor and Nakamura looking to do battle again, this time with their partners by their side, A-Kid in the corner of the Prince, and Rick Boogs in the corner of Shinsuke Nakamura. Rick Boogs and Nakamura really aligning after the two men took issue with Apollo Crews and Commander Aziz, two other men who are a part of the SmackDown roster. I'm sure we'll see those two teams lock horns in the near future. But tonight is really about the Prince and the King of Strong Style. Nakamura feels there's still a score to be settled with this man. And I'm sure deep down Finn Balor really probably isn't interested in this contest. He's got John Cena next week here on SmackDown, a part of the World Championship Eliminator. But tonight he's got to worry about Nakamura and Rick Boogs in tag team action here on Friday night. And here comes the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. I'm sure Nakamura would love to pick up a victory here tonight, possibly put himself in contention as a future number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. And from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura! Nakamura, no stranger to championship gold. We're looking at a former Intercontinental Champion, a former United States Champion, a former NXT Champion. But just imagine the big gold belt around Shinsuke Nakamura's waist. He may not be a participant in the World Championship Series taking place tonight and next week. You always gotta keep your eye on the top contenders. We discuss it each and every time on Raw and now SmackDown. Wins and losses matter around these parts. The more W's, the more hands raised you get inside of the ring, the more possible championship opportunities, main event opportunities you're getting in the near future. Nakamura tonight with an opportunity to topple Finn Balor, get a measure of revenge, and also possibly put himself in line for a future opportunity in his mind. But here comes the tag team partner. He's been an exciting part of the show since joining the main roster, Rick Boogs in the corner of Nakamura here in San Antonio tonight on the return of Friday Night SmackDown. And from Madison, Wisconsin, weighing in at 234 pounds, Rick Boogs! Well, as Rick Boogs makes his way to the ring tonight, 
episode 67 of Universe Mode. A special Friday Night SmackDown will be a live premiere, a pay-per-view-like event on SmackDown. In two weeks' time, the SmackDown All-Star kickoff live premiere event right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel, which of course will feature the four-man elimination matchup for the World Heavyweight Championship. And as we just saw moments ago, one man already qualified, that being Seth freaking Rollins. Who will be next to join him? We're going to find out a little bit later tonight when it's the almighty Bobby Lashley versus the Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre. Two former rivals, two former WWE champions going to lock horns once again in the middle of this blue and white ring here tonight in San Antonio. We are set for tag team action here. Rick Boog, Shinsuke Nakamura versus A-Kid and Finn Balor. That's how you keep the momentum going here on Friday night. Nakamura going to kick things off with the Cruiserweight A-Kid who made his way to the main roster from NXT UK. They're going to make a name for himself inside of the ring with the former multiple-time NXT champion and Shinsuke Nakamura. Of course, under the learning tree of Finn Balor as of late. I'm sure A-Kid's got a couple of tricks up his sleeve to try to topple Nakamura, who Balor knows very well. Of course, as we mentioned, Balor picked up the win over Nakamura in the final episode of Main Event just 24 hours before the Survivor Series pay-per-view. And Nakamura may have got a measure of revenge when it was Team McIntyre versus Team Sheamus at Survivor Series, but tonight a little bit more focused on the problems between Nakamura and Balor, which simply really come down to who's the better, who's the best between the Prince and the King. Now with their own partners and their own protégés in their corner tonight, another opportunity to prove themselves, another opportunity to find out just who's the better man inside the squared circle. Nakamura working over A-Kid right now. A-Kid, a lot of potential inside of the ring, could be a pivotal part of the Cruiserweight division in the near future, but the tag made to the Prince Finn Balor. Balor, Nakamura, here we go. Prince in control right ar already off the get-go, taking Shinsuke Nakamura down. Oh, and Balor turning his back to Nakamura. A cheap shot on Rick Boogs and knocks him off the apron. Simple attitude out of the Prince Finn Balor. He's gotten used to it over the last number of months. Taking issue with everybody that isn't himself. Taking Boogs out of the equation, momentarily now going to focus his sights on Shinsuke Nakamura once again. Balor, an A-Kid in control of the matchup. Drop kick to the side of the head of Nakamura. Balor working over Nakamura here. Just trying to put Nakamura out of his way for good here tonight. I'm sure Balor is very happy to be drafted to the same brand as his new protege, A-Kid. Of course, A-Kid had the option to either be a part of the Cruiserweight division, which, which was automatically assigned to Friday Night SmackDown, or enter the draft pool. A-Kid, a part of the list of talent that elected to be a part of the Cruiserweight division and be automatically placed here on Friday Night SmackDown. As Rick Boogs is tagged in, Boogs obviously the bigger the competitor, more of a heavyweight versus a cruiserweight here. Definitely Rick Boogs got the advantage over A-Kid. A-Kid's got to use his speed and agility. Boogs got to use his size and strength. A-Kid going to whip Boogs off. Showing a little bit of strength there. A nice kick in the corner. Now kids go to the top rope. Boogs is down. And a beautiful double stomp. Very Finn Balor-like. Almost a coup de gras out of the protege. But Boogs gets the shoulder up. You may not like who A-Kid is as accepted to align himself with. But you cannot deny the talents of the young man from the United Kingdom. Putting Boogs into the corner. Momentum shift in this matchup. Off that double stomp. And a tag made to the Prince Finn Balor. Balor and Nakamura. Excuse me, Balor and Rick Boogs. Locking horns for the first time here. And Boogs, look at the strength to send Balor over the top. And now just manhandles him back over. And a forearm shot right to the back. That's going to hurt more than the normal when you look at the strength of Boogs. Look at this. Press slam. Showing off his strength right here. And sends Balor down to the canvas. Rick Boogs impressing on his first night on SmackDown. Into the cover he goes with Balor able to get in there. Or excuse me, A-Kid able to get in there. Balor barely able to get the shoulder up as well. Balor though, look at this, goes behind. Boogs had his back turned. Maybe enough to keep him down. Got the strength to push him off though. Balor trying to take momentum back in this tag team matchup. Of course, Finn looking ahead to John Cena next week. 
Finn Balor going to be a part of the World Championship Series. Possible chance to qualify for the All-Star kickoff. A little bit of a warm-up, if you will, for the Prince here tonight as he looks ahead again to the franchise player, John Cena, one-on-one -on -one next week on SmackDown. Really, I'm sure Balor isn't very happy about participating tonight, but also may look at this as an opportunity, as we mentioned, to get Nakamura out of his way for good. So we'll see what happens in the result of this thing, but Balor, beautiful Pele kick, like him or not, that was effective. Boogs is crawling to the corner that he doesn't want to be in right now, able to kick Balor off. Boogs has been in here for a number of minutes, taking some big time offense, may need a tag to Nakamura, think that's what he may be looking to do here. Tag to the king. And now this rock star duo in control of the matchup off the double team. Nakamura into the cover. Who's going to get out of the referee's way there? Into the cover, but Balor gets the shoulder up. And we're back to Nakamura and Balor, the root of these issues in the midst of this tag team matchup here. Balor's got to keep his eye on the king. Nakamura's got him up. Fireman's carry position here. Neck breaker right on the back of the knee. And that's enough to keep any normal man down. Nakamura with retribution and momentum on his mind here tonight. And looking to walk away with another loss to the Prince Finn Balor. The fight continues on the outside of the ring. Balor looking worse for wear right now over the King of Strong style. In the midst of this tag team matchup here is the brawl. Really starting to ensue in Nakamura. Oh, I thought he was about to get sent to the ring post there. Dangerous situation on the outside of the ring. Balor behind Nakamura. Neck breaker. Slams him down to the canvas. Shinsuke trying to fight back. Neck breaker of his own. Back breaker. Nakamura into the cover. Will that be enough? But a kid right there to break things up. Boogs is in there. Nakamura going to, though, take care of A-Kid. Send him over the top rope. Finn Balor comes from behind. Sends Nakamura to the corner and drops an elbow right to the back of the head. You can't turn your back to any of the competitors in this matchup. And Finn Balor taking full advantage of that situation right now. Nakamura stays the prince. Goes underneath of him. Drop kick takes down Nakamura. A-Kid back up on the corner. Finn Balor now with his protege watching his back. Got a hold. 19-16. Delivered to Shinsuke Nakamura. Into the cover. Will it be enough for Balor and a kid tonight? But Nakamura gets the shoulder up. The tag team matchup rolls on here in San Antonio, Texas. Balor whipping Nakamura off. Hits the chop. Rolls Nakamura out. Balor. Clearly in the driver's seat of this matchup as Nakamura is worse for wear. And we could be looking at Balor taking Boogs off the corner again. Boogs out of the equation. Balor, coup de gras. No, Nakamura gets out of the way. And Nakamura with a king shot to Balor. Balor took his eye off the ball. And it cost him. Nakamura and Boogs pick up the victory tonight. Finn Balor laid out Shinsuke Nakamura. Took his eye off the ball just to lay out Rick Boogs, send him flying off the apron. Balor went for the coup de gras. Nakamura had enough time to get out of the way. King Shasa, knockout to the Prince. Nakamura and Boogs walking away from San Antonio with this big time tag team victory tonight. You want to talk about a momentum shifter? Balor isn't going to be happy about that. When he smells the smelling salt, he wakes up from that KO blow. Well, Balor's going to have to refocus because he's got John Cena next week here on SmackDown. But as for tonight, Rick Boogs and the King of Strong Style walking away with the W. Well, the action continues on Friday Night SmackDown here from the AT&T Center in San Antonio, Texas. Tag Team Affair, Akira Tozawa and Kushida. Taking on John Morrison and The Miz, plus in cruiserweight action, Graham and Elite going one-on-one -on -one with the Hurricane. And the results of those matchup, see The Miz and John Morrison pick up the tag team win over Tazawa and Kishida, and the Hurricane one-on-one -on -one walks away with a W against Graham and Elite.
Let's keep the action rolling. Moments before our main event, we got a one-on-one -on -one bout set for you. And the greatest mask of all time, the master of the 619, Rey Mysterio is back home on Friday Night SmackDown. Alongside his son Dominic, who may have came up short, winning the Intercontinental Championship on Monday Night Raw, but a new leash on life for the father and son duo now a part of the blue brand each and every Friday night. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Dominic Mysterio from San Diego, California. Weighing in at 175 pounds, Ray Mysterio. From June 26th to September the 10th, Ray Mysterio and his son Dominic dominated over the tag team division here in the WWE as the world tag team champions. Since then, things have been a little rocky. Both men have suffered a couple of losses. Dominic, as we mentioned, not one, but two losses to the current Intercontinental Champion, Tommaso Ciampa, including this past Monday Night on Raw, coming up short in an Intercontinental Championship matchup against the Blackheart. With the father and son duo here on Friday Night SmackDown, Ray looking to make an impact tonight against this man, Shelton Benjamin. And his opponent, representing the Hurt Business, from Orangeburg, South Carolina, weighing in at 248 pounds, Shelton Benjamin. Well, the Hurt Business really imploded in a sense in the WWE draft this past Monday night. Shelton Benjamin, along with MVP and Bobby Lashley, all drafted here to Friday Night SmackDown. On the other hand, Cedric Alexander and the Nigerian Giant Omas drafted to Monday Night Raw. So what the future holds for the Hurt Business remains to be seen for, or excuse me, but as for Shelton Benjamin, alongside the Hurt Business may have came up short at Survivor Series in that six-man elimination matchup against Damian Priest, Dominic Dijakovic, and AJ Styles. But Benjamin's a success story in a single sense. Former Intercontinental Champion, former United States Champion, knows how to get it done from bell to bell on his own. Let's see if he can get it done here tonight against Rey Mysterio here on Friday Night SmackDown. These two men have met before inside of the ring in singles action and tag team action as well. They know each other in their strong suits. Rey Mysterio immediately taking Benjamin down, goes for the cover. But Benjamin with the power advantage in this matchup. It would have pushed the master of the 619 out of his way. And again, for Rey and Dominic really trying to start building some momentum back for the father and son duo after things really got derailed all the way back in September at Judgment Day. And a classic possible match of the year candidate against Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic on that night. Mysterio, look at this. Springboard moonsault on Benjamin. Right pulling out all the stops in this matchup thus far and Benjamin gets the shoulder up. And of course, we are moments away from our second of two World Championship Series qualifying matchups tonight. Bobby Lashley with MVP in his corner. One on one against Drew McIntyre. The winner's gonna move on to Universe Mode Episode 67, two weeks away from the SmackDown All-Star Kickoff. Shelton Benjamin taking the momentum in this contest. Nice double arm takeover by the gold standard. And beating down on Rey Mysterio, trying to ground the high flyer here. Both these men have had success on Friday Night SmackDown back in their days. Benjamin made his WWE debut a part of SmackDown, became a multiple time tag team champion, won the United States Championship a part of this brand as well. Rey Mysterio, of course, one of the names synonymous with Friday Night SmackDown over the years. One of the top ten, if not top five superstars to ever grace the blue brand ring. And Rey Mysterio, beautiful springboard. Hurricane Rana takes Benjamin down. Mysterio showing off some of that cruiserweight ability. You know, the cruiserweight championship, or I should say the cruiserweight division, officially, as we mentioned, assigned to Friday Night SmackDown. The cruiserweight champion, Ricochet, a part of the brand as well. Who knows, we could be looking at Rey Mysterio challenging for a championship he's held many times throughout his career in the near future. And right now, he's got Benjamin, worse for wear on the top rope. Ray looking to go high risk, high reward again. Spin around, Frankensteiner takes Benjamin down. Will that be enough to keep the gold standard out? Not just yet. Ray is looking good in this contest tonight here in San Antonio. What a showcase for Ray Mysterio. Wait a minute here, shoots Benjamin off. Mysterio, dial it up, 
six, one, nine. Benjamin's down, springboard. Oh no, Benjamin got out of the way. And a crash and burn from Rey Mysterio there may have just turned the tides in this singles matchup. Rey might have missed, missed a window of opportunity and he gets squashed in the corner by the bigger competitor. Signature splash into the cover. And Rey Mysterio able to muscle out of it. Almost the ending of this matchup there. At a few occasions, Rey Mysterio at the 619 went for the follow up splash. Benjamin had it scouted though. Benjamin hit that splash of his own in the corner. Wait a minute, Rey Mysterio. Reversal. Sunset flip. No, Benjamin's still in it. And what a matchup between these two men here on SmackDown. Benjamin's days, Ray headed to the top rope, catches Benjamin again to take him off his feet. Benjamin really having trouble catching Ray Mysterio throughout this contest. There's a nice reversal right there to take Ray down. Ray trying to take the momentum back. He hit that 619. Was so close to victory. Doesn't want to let this one slip through his fingers tonight. And wait a minute, could be looking to dial it up for the second time. 619 from San Antonio. Springboard. Frog splash on Shelton Benjamin. And into the cover goes Ray. Mysterio picks up the victory. Benjamin may have avoided disaster the first time around, but nowhere to go after the second 619. Ray Mysterio. Outlasting Benjamin here tonight, really putting on a showcase of those high flying cruiserweight abilities. We could be looking at a future number one contender for the cruiserweight gold. Here is your winner, Ray Mysterio. Big time victory for the master of the 619 here tonight in San Antonio. But what is going to be next on the blue brand for the Mysterio family? Well, coming up next week on Friday Night SmackDown is the debut of NXT's The Defiant, The Loudmouth, L.A. Knight, officially part of SmackDown. He arrives next week. And the World Championship Series qualifying matches continue. The glorious Robert Roode set to go one-on-one -on -one with Mustafa Ali. Two hungry men ready to get an opportunity at the gold. Who is going to advance to the All-Star kickoff? And plus, in next week's main event, we saw him in action earlier tonight, and he will meet back up in the ring next week with the franchise John Cena. Balor, Cena. Cena's held the world championship before. Balor looking to do it for the first time, one-on-one, -on -one, next week on SmackDown. But it is main event time from the AT&T Center in San Antonio. The return of Friday Night SmackDown. And these two old rivals set the lock horns inside the square circle here tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by MVP, representing the Hurt Business from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. It was back in 2005 that this man, Bobby Lashley, made his debut in the WWE a part of the SmackDown roster. Throughout his career, he has been the ECW champion, a United States champion, an Intercontinental champion, and of course, the WWE champion. But the big gold classic, World Heavyweight Gold, a championship that has eluded Bobby Lashley throughout his career. But will this be the opportunity that Lashley needs to strap gold around the Almighty's waist again? No easy task in front of him, a man he knows very well, a man he has stepped foot inside hell in the cell with throughout his career, the Scottish psychopath, Drew McIntyre. Lashley is locked and loaded, set for action. And here comes Drew McIntyre arrives in San Antonio. It's been a rocky year for McIntyre. But is this the long-awaited opportunity that the psychopath has been waiting for to get back to the main event, to get back to being the face of the WWE? And his opponent from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. 
We've documented throughout this year how McIntyre unfortunately has come up short in the big match situations. But did the tides change this past Thursday at Survivor Series where McIntyre led his team to victory over Sheamus, Finn Balor, and Apollo Crews? McIntyre's had opportunities at participating in Money in the Bank. McIntyre's had opportunities of becoming the Intercontinental Champion. McIntyre's had an opportunity to become the number one contender for the WWE Championship. But unfortunately for Drew, those opportunities slipped through his fingers multiple times throughout this past year. But it's a whole new start for each and every man on this roster here on Friday Night SmackDown. A World Championship Qualifier. Who will join Seth freaking Rollins in two weeks' time at the SmackDown All-Star kickoff? The bell has sounded, and we are underway with your main event. Lashley and McIntyre, two old rivals locking horns once again. Lashley immediately picking Drew McIntyre off his feet, going to showcase his strength here. He can't necessarily say that one's got the size and strength over the other. Two pretty evenly matched competitors inside of the ring. They've met at WrestleMania for the WWE Championship. Lashley owns victories over McIntyre. Is Lashley the favorite here tonight because of their history? Splash from the top rope, uncharacteristic for the Almighty. But any means necessary to qualify for the World Championship matchup in two weeks. And of course, next week here on SmackDown, the final two members of the four-way elimination matchup for the All-Star kickoff will be determined. When is the glorious Robert Roode taking on Mustafa Ali? And then of course in the main event next week, it's gonna be the Prince Finn Balor who we saw come up short earlier tonight. We'll see how that weighs on his mind next week, but he's gonna be going one-on-one -on -one with the franchise, John Cena. All that and more next week on SmackDown, the debut of LA Knight. It's gonna be a huge night as SmackDown continues to roll forward towards the All-Star kickoff in two weeks time. McIntyre hits the ropes, Goes for the knee, but Bobby Lashley taking the legs out of the Scottish Psychopath. It's a matchup of the Hurt Lock versus the Claymore here tonight. Who is going to strike first? Lashley's been in control since the opening bell for the most part. McIntyre having trouble mounting some offense. Is the pressure of the big match situation and McIntyre's history in these scenarios throughout this here creeping inside the mind of McIntyre here tonight. Only time will tell. And for Bobby Lashley, you know, he's really trying to right some wrongs of recent history as well. Remember back on September the 10th, Lashley probably pulled out what was the biggest win of his, of his year here in the WWE when he defeated AJ Styles in a match of the year classic at Judgment Day. But since then, Lashley has come up short to John Cena in a matchup on Monday Night Raw. And then, of course, last Thursday, Thanksgiving night at Survivor Series, Lashley, Shelton Benjamin, and Cedric Alexander coming up short to Damian Priest Dominic Dijakovic and AJ Styles in the six-man elimination matchup. So Lashley trying to bounce back from those recent losses last week. McIntyre just trying to bounce back from the big match situations here. A whole lot of bragging rights and momentum riding on this matchup. And Lashley sending McIntyre for a ride up and over the top rope and down to the floor of the AT&T Center. McIntyre may be running off adrenaline right now, but that is not going to go well the deeper we get into this matchup. And Lashley, just like that, in control of the matchup. Got McIntyre over the head. No, McIntyre with some life in him right now. Trying to avoid disaster. It sends Lashley for a ride of his own. Referee's at a count of six. I assume if this match goes to a double count out that no man will qualify and we'll be having a triple threat instead in two weeks time. Pinfall or submission inside of the ring gonna determine who picks up the victory here tonight and who qualifies for the world championship matchup in two weeks. The brawl continues on the outside of the ring. McIntyre swinging a miss. Lashley grabs a hold of the psychopath. Got him over the shoulders here and dropping him on the apron and that's a knockout blow if I ever saw one. McIntyre has got his eggs scrambled right now. Lashley back into the ring. McIntyre's got to refocus here in the main event of Friday Night SmackDown. McIntyre back in control. Whips Lashley off into the corner, at least momentarily here, and a much needed big boot. Desperate times call for desperate measures. And that big boot hit flush. And Lashley is down, and McIntyre finally getting some breathing room in this main event matchup. 
MVP on the outside of the ring. You always got to keep your eye on Lashley's henchmen in the minds of the Hurt Business or the former Hurt Business, whatever you want to call it. Whatever Lashley and MVP and company decide what the future is for that group. But right now, Lashley got McIntyre up in the air again. There's really nowhere to go when you're hoisted in the air by a size, by a man the size of Lashley. McIntyre down, McIntyre kicks up, trying to avoid disaster as Lashley heads to the top rope. Pull away slam, Lashley counters. And the Axe Hammer, but McIntyre counters. Back and forth, the reversals go in this World Championship qualifier. Drew on the top rope and drops the hammer of himself. Neither man wanted to give an inch with an opportunity to become the World Heavyweight Champion at the All-Star kickoff, hanging in the balance. Seth Rollins is already qualified. Who is going to join that man? A live premiere pay-per-view-like edition of SmackDown on episode 67. McIntyre again with a wild, almost tomahawk chop from the top rope. With somebody coming at you the size and strength of Drew McIntyre, that could be a knockout blow any day of the week. Lashley able to avoid disaster. Look how easy he gets McIntyre in the air. Press slam, delivers the power slam. McIntyre down. These two men know each other so well. The history of battles that these two warriors have faced inside of the ring. Lashley into the cover on McIntyre. Has he punched his ticket? Not just yet. A lot more than bragging rights hang in the balance tonight. Lashley continuing the offense on Drew McIntyre. And sends the big man over the top rope. McIntyre holding on momentarily here. It delivers a forearm shot to Bobby Lashley. Wait a minute. Oh, and whips him off into the top rope. Simple but effective maneuver from Drew McIntyre. McIntyre, you know, both of these men got started here on SmackDown in their WWE careers, and both men have contested early on in their careers for the World Heavyweight Championship. You remember back in 2006 when Bobby Lashley was contesting against Booker T, King Booker, and Batista for the World Heavyweight Championship. You fast forward a few years later, McIntyre, on the other hand, has history battling it out with Edge for the World Heavyweight title. Neither man held the gold, but Drew McIntyre and Bobby Lashley both looking to add that prestigious championship to their long list of accolades here in the WWE. Whipping Lashley off, goes for the belly to belly, but Lashley able to block it. A big time clothesline, knocking the wind out of any man. Lashley dazed here, McIntyre, oh wait a minute, belly to belly situation, but this time sends him over the top rope. A receipt for earlier on in the contest, McIntyre went flying, this time it's Lashley taking it to the sky. What a maneuver. MVP not liking what he sees right there, Lashley down and out, and McIntyre going to continue the offense. Got to continue on with the pressure in a high stakes matchup just as this one. Lashley taking the momentum back in the contest. Sends McIntyre into the ring. Got to stay on the advantage, though. You see how McIntyre kicks up. Takes Lashley over. What a knee. My God, the tree trunk-like legs of McIntyre delivered to the chrome dome of Lashley, and Lashley able to get the shoulder up. Neither man wanted to give an inch in this contest fight with everything they got left inside the tank. Now Lashley trying to take control. McIntyre not going to allow it and delivers a big boot. And you notice McIntyre hit the big boot in the corner earlier in the matchup. Just delivered that one. Add a couple of Claymore kicks on top of that. McIntyre signature maneuver. There may be no lights out. Or maybe no wake it up, I should say, for Bobby Lashley. Lashley trying to make sure that's not the case. As McIntyre clotheslines him over the top rope. And back out to the outside of the ring this matchup goes. What a main event contest we got on the return of Friday Night SmackDown. The action's only going to continue on from here. Next week, Cena versus Balor, Ali versus Rue, the debut of LA Knight. But a night it's going to be next Friday night on SmackDown. McIntyre grabbing a hold of Bobby Lashley, trying to send him back inside of the ring. Lashley looking to avoid it. McIntyre, what a shot. And Lashley delivers one of the gut. 
Back inside the ring we go. The brawl continues with the World Championship matchup in two weeks' time hanging in the balance. Nice shot by McIntyre. You notice the momentum really shifting back and forth faster compared to the earlier parts of this matchup. Both men just throwing everything they got at each other. Lefts and rights and kicks to the gut, overhand chops just like that one. Lashley's days. McIntyre grabs a hold. Lashley able to counter. Lashley press slam maneuver again. Only few men can get McIntyre in the air such as that, but McIntyre counters. Goes behind on Lashley. Picks him up. Power slam of his own and takes Lashley down. You aren't going to see very many men manhandle the size of these two behemoths in there. They can certainly do it to each other. McIntyre off the second rope with the leg drop, not watching the ring awareness there. Lashley's foot underneath the bottom rope. McIntyre's got to watch those mistakes, especially in the deep waters of this main event affair. Lashley is down right now. McIntyre's wheels are turning. McIntyre's got to be wondering what the hell he's got to do to keep Bobby Lashley down for good in this matchup. Charges at Lashley and delivers an emphatic big boot. Missed on that one there. Lashley grabs a hold. We go back. High up again, another suplex here. Look at this. Letting the blood rush to the head of McIntyre. That's gonna keep you dazed, keep you confused, and keep you off your game. And he sends him down into the canvas. And just like that, the tide shift in this matchup. Lashley, Lashley with the hurt lock. McIntyre, nowhere to go. Out of nowhere, Lashley has got that hurt lock sensed in there. And if it wasn't for the rope break, McIntyre Maybe on the verge of passing out, and Lashley may be on his way to the All-Star kickoff. If it was not that close to the ropes, McIntyre saved by the ropes there. Now Lashley into the cover. Almost had him, but McIntyre barely able to seek the shoulder off the canvas. Just seconds away, Bobby Lashley was from heading to the All-Star kickoff. And McIntyre, you smell the sense of urgency in the Scottish psychopath now. Spring it up. Pushes Lashley off. And an emphatic headbutt takes Lashley down. How much more do these two men got to give? Wait a minute, McIntyre's in the corner. Claymore kick. Into the cover he goes. No, Lashley gets the shoulder up. Lashley with the hurt lock. McIntyre survived. McIntyre with the Claymore. Lashley survives. Throwing everything they got and just a little bit more at each other tonight. Lashley trying to avoid disaster. Business really picking up in our main event here. Lashley's got McIntyre and just slams him into the corner and throws him around like a rag doll. Now the ground and pound from Lashley. McIntyre trying to avoid it though. Sends Lashley to the outside. We said it a moment ago, we'll say it again. The sense of urgency has really picked up in this matchup. And McIntyre continuing the fight on the outside of the ring. Lashley down, McIntyre back in control. Who is gonna qualify for the world championship matchup in two weeks? Headbutt takes Lashley off his feet. McIntyre's gotta be thinking, maybe one more Claymore, maybe the future Shock DDT. He's gotta hit one of the big time maneuvers if he's gonna have a chance to get past Lashley here tonight. Wait a minute, Lashley, out of nowhere, Dominator! And that may be all she wrote, dead center of the ring. McIntyre's done, not just yet. Not just yet. Lashley had it scouted, the Dominator, but McIntyre kips up. Lashley go for the Hurt Lock again. McIntyre avoids it. The Psychopath goes behind. Whips Lashley off into the corner. It is now or never for Drew McIntyre to get back into this matchup. Belly to belly suplex may have just ended his night for good. McIntyre is in trouble right now. Lashley hit that Dominator and really changed the pace of this last moment or so, but McIntyre still swinging lefts, still swinging rights. As long as the heart of Drew McIntyre is still pumping, he is going to keep fighting in this World Championship qualifier. Lashley, though, back and forth we go again. McIntyre counters again. 
Who is going to take the advantage here? Who is heading to the All-Star kickoff? We are in deep waters in this contest. McIntyre sending Lashley into the corner. Oh no, headed up to the top rope. Things are only gonna get more dangerous when you're atop the squared circle, especially with two men the size of these guys up there. McIntyre elevated. Superplex. Lashley is dead center of the ring and McIntyre back inside the corner. Claymore kick number two. And McIntyre's not done. McIntyre's not done. Make it three, not one, not two. Claymore kicks to Drew McIntyre from Bobby Lashley. Lashley's out. And McIntyre is on his way to the kickoff. My God, what a main event. Seth Rollins qualified earlier tonight. And there you see it, Drew McIntyre is on his way to episode 67, the SmackDown All-Star Kickoff to compete for the World Heavyweight Championship. A disappointing loss for Bobby Lashley, respect where it's due, one hell of a fight. But ladies and gentlemen, next week, the debut of LA Knight, Robert Roode versus Mustafa Ali and Finn Balor versus John Cena. We will see you then. Good night, everybody. Game face on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.